Hey guys, um, I just want to come over here and tell you that in the midst of the battles, when you find yourself so alone, God will speak to you, and let me just share with you what happened to me last night. So I've been going through a lot the last 24 hours. And it's been a huge change in my life, as well as my family's life. Um, and it's been heartbreaking. But God is still good. Amen. Let me mark something right here, because I want to read it to you. Um, anyways, so I was talking to the Lord last night. And He reminded me of eagles. Well, this morning, I had got on Facebook, and I had seen a post from my aunt about eagles, about how if they eat something that's toxic to them, how they'll go to the highest peak, and they'll, they'll dwell in the sun for the sun to remove the poison out of their body. Well, it was just confirmation of what God had spoke to me last night. You know, when a, a baby eagle is, when a mama is trying to push a baby eagle forth, it will set on the nesting, but then she starts removing the soft spot of the nesting, and it is very uncomfortable to them. The nesting has thorns, it has twigs, it has all kinds of stuff in there that is very uncomfortable. Amen. So much so that the baby eagle will get so tired of, of being poked and pricked that it will get out of the nest, and it will fly. But see, if it goes so low, the mama will swoop down, and it'll catch it. And see, that's where I've been at in this transition in my life, is I have been placed in an uncomfortable position. God has been removing the comfort spots Amen. And, and it's been an uncomfortable position in my life. But without that place of me being uncomfortable, I would never be able to move. I would never be able to go forward. I would never be able to grow if it wasn't for that uncomfortable moment in my life. Amen. The same to all of us. If, if we are always comfortable, we will never grow. Never. If we are always in a place to where we're relying on somebody else, we're never going to grow into who God wants us to be. And so God brought that scripture back to my remembrance of Isaiah 40, 31. I want to read it to you. Amen. Word for word, I want to read it to you. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they will run and not be weary, and they will walk and not faint. Amen. I want to let you know that when you run, when you walk, when you fly, when you're going and when you're doing God's work, you're going to find yourself in uncomfortable situations at times. You're going to find yourself in heartbreaking situations at times because in order to grow, you're going to have to face things that are hard that you feel like you can't get through. Amen. So then the Lord took me on over to 1 Peter chapter 2. Verse 9, and that's really where I want to talk to you for just a brief moment. Amen. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Amen. I'm about to have church if I had to have it all by myself right here in the middle of the parking lot. And I'm even going to have to get out of my car for a minute so everybody else can hear what I'm about to say. Amen. So the Lord started talking to me. And he said, to go through the uncomfortable situations, you're going to show people, amen, that you are the chosen generation. Amen. You are a peculiar people. Amen. To be 
a, a peculiar people. You have to be different than everybody else. Amen. If you continue to sit in the nest, amen, you're just going to be like everybody else. Hallelujah. But if you will allow yourself to come out of that comfort spot, if you will allow yourself to come out of that comfortable situation and grow, amen, you're going to find yourself in that chosen generation. You're going to find yourself in that peculiar place, amen, to where people will look at you different. They'll speak of you different. They'll see as you different because you're not going to be like everybody else. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that them hard spots that's going on in your life right trouble connecting. I rebuke the devil right now. Right now that's trying to cause a distraction in this live feed. Amen. It is not going to work because there are people all around me. Amen. That are listening under the sound of my voice right now, even in the parking lot. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you that these hard places that's in your life, my God in heaven, if you would let God use them. Amen. If you would let God shine through you today. Amen. If you would let people know that it don't matter how hard it gets, how, how, how intense it is. Amen. How uncomfortable it is. But if you can show them, amen, that you can get through it, amen, it's going to let them know that there's something different about you. Hallelujah. It's going to let them know that you're finding your help from a different source. Hallelujah. Not from the doctors, not from the people of this world. Amen. Not from guidance counselors of this world, but the guidance counselor, amen, of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that if you would let God continue to guide your life and guide your step, amen, people are going to know that there's something different. Amen. They'll be able to come to you. Amen. Because they know that you're going to be able to help them. Amen. Because you know different. Hallelujah. This world can offer them nothing. Amen. But what you got on the inside. Amen. Can offer them hope. Amen. Can offer them life. Amen. They won't have to stay in this place that they're in. Hallelujah. I want you to know today. That I don't care how much heartache you have. I don't care how many tears you've cried. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says that weeping may endure for the night. But joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. I want you to know that that the darkest part of the night is not in the midnight hour. Hallelujah. The darkest part of the night is one hour before dawn. Amen. And God didn't just put that in the Bible for coincidence. Amen. He knew that the, uh, the, the darkest part is going to be right before the sun breaks through. Hallelujah. I'm here to let somebody know today. Hallelujah. That your help is on its way. Hallelujah. I'm here to let somebody know today that you are a chosen generation. Amen. You were born to stand out. Amen. That's why you've never fit in. You keep saying all the time, God, why don't everybody, why don't nobody accept me? God, why can't they, why can't nobody love me for me? God, it's because of what's inside you. Amen. You are different. You are chosen. Amen. And you are set apart. Amen. It's time to be thankful that nobody is like you. Amen. It's time to be thankful that you ain't got what everybody else has because you got something different on the inside. Hallelujah. I want to thank God today. Amen. That even in the middle of the storms, amen, even in the midnight hour, we have a promise of knowing, amen, that the joy is about to break through. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you today that I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what mess you find yourself in. I don't care what the doctors have said. I don't care what this world says. Hallelujah. But I want you to know today that you've got an advocate with the Father. Amen. He's sitting on the right seat of God and he's interceding for you and me. Amen. And he works together. All things work together for the good. Amen. The, to those that love the Lord and they're called according to his purpose. You're called for his purpose today. And I pray to God right now that you would ask God what that purpose on your life is. Amen. You've not endured these hard times for nothing. You are a chosen generation. Hallelujah. We are a peculiar people. Amen. I don't want to be like nobody else. I like being me. Amen. I don't care if I'm radical. I don't care if I do things that this world don't approve of. Amen. I've got something inside me, amen, that this world needs. Amen. You've got something inside of you that this world needs and it's called Jesus Christ. Amen. Will you introduce him to somebody today? Amen. I want to speak to all these people that's listening to me today. Hallelujah. That if you have something, amen, that you've been going through, amen, you've got to know that God is the almighty. Amen. He is the restorer of all things gone. Amen. And if you're finding yourself in the middle of the storm right now, you got to know that you have a promise waiting. Amen. You got to know that God is here. Amen. He's not a dead God. We serve a live God. He's a living Savior. Amen. He's alive. He's alive forevermore. And whatever you have need of today, God is here to meet your need. Amen. I know that this is not normal thing. Amen. But God does things in the abnormal ways. He moves in the radical. Amen. 
Amen. I want you to be blessed today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God.